See what Bali's got to offer. Mirage, our first battleground, and four fins gather at the top of mid. Maiden not quite going to stick around for the info, but the sound cues are going to be present, and by the boatload, they continue. A molly into the window, an interesting smoke to buy time for a jungle flank, and Farley's tucked in the corner, baited in by Maiden. And it perfect, all three from Farley. A quick step up, and poor Sergey and Sunny, plans squandered, no armor, and they are continue their naked approach towards the apartments. I love this lane from Farley too. He's, he's in the right place, right time. You can just play this well. Does get outdone. Banger from Sergey, but it's gonna be Zen on the site. Unchecked on, gonna do the job he needs. A Sunny now. And to watch all his team fall. Six HP, not gonna get much out of it. We popped off on the pistol. There it was. We just did it with the AWP now. So uh, he's taken three steps in the right direction to collecting that weapon as soon as possible. It's only going to be 4,300 for him going into the second round. So here they are again. You're not even looking. I've got the silence. Ooh, spawn. It's not the loud P2K. I see what you're saying. Ah, ha, ha. I know, it probably wouldn't have made a difference. I was about to say, like, is that? No, it wouldn't have made a difference. It wouldn't have made a difference. Don't let him convince you. Devil War. Right away, go. getting fired up. Let's go, let's go. Satellite radio. Bit of an economical with some flesh bings here that are going to be going over the palace. And guess who has to receive it? Sticko, the man okay. with the boo-boo. $600 for the boo-boo on the mouse hand. Boo! There it is. $1,200. Rest is dealt with by the rifles. And he can't really complain about that one. Zan even grabbing himself an extra 600 with the SMG frag. You can see that beautiful Union Jack on his arm. And we are nearly ready to get into the weapon round. So there will be a sacrifice of utility, Chad. So I'm imagining we're talking brute force with the... Oh, okay, it's a, mm. it's a smattering, but still, I mean, five smokes and only two flashbangs is going to have some sacrifice. It's not such a problem with the way that we've been seeing Ents approach the game. They're very default heavy and basic in terms of their executes. And it looks like they're setting up for one of those basic executes here right now. The A piece, probably a smoke towards jungle, a smoke towards stairs, a flash and out palace we go. Looking through it. The flash is bad. It should have been Steekos, but Alu very quick to the trigger. And Jampy trying to make as much space as he can. You can see how little he was unwilling to slow down. He does walk into the farm house of Maiden though, and this one could be over quickly. Lovely work so far. Considering they did have very much bare minimum on the T side, they made a really good attempt Ooh, here, yeah. but it's not without an answer. Farley's still very much alive and kicking. And kicking the hell out of the fins for now. 2v2, and look at the state of the finish team. Ariel's a little low. Sunny's on nothing but Ariel. Still doing great work. Crystal, very viable. Even with this gun, Sunny has nothing to play with. He has a smoke as well, Lauren. So low. I'm not sure if he goes for the hold here. It's got the kit. Sunny was going around the world. Time's on his side. He should have it. Three for Godsend without a bullet fired from the new in-game leader. Five HP as well, just put him on notice. Oof. Yeah, that's a very fantastic start, keeping the AK alive. You can see that, wow, they've still got a fair bit of cash thanks to that bomb plan. Chunks of change left over here, so Godsend are going to have whatever they want going into round number four. And because of the plant and the Lost Burner still trickling up for the Finnish side of things, they will be able to get another buy underway. But once again, it will not be a scenario where you'll be seeing the smattering of full utility. So check it out. We've actually gone for Deagles on Yampi and Sergey, and they've opted to only go for a half buy on Ariel as well. So this is a curious one. I thought they may have just gone for AKs, but they're opting to go for something a little bit lighter. Okay, and, and testing Zen and Seiko again. I mean, this isn't the first time we've seen them setting up for an AX second. We're only four rounds in. They'll be having Yampi Sergey through the palace. And it will become a question of timing. No CT aggressions yet, so there is no vulnerability for that flank that Alu is currently alert for, but a smoke on Palace might buy some time for some CT looks. Problem Ents have here is they don't know the tendencies or even how a godsend one would be approaching this map. It being a pick from the dark, it being a punished pick. Who knows how this one's gonna play on out. Ents just have to play their style and hope it works. Because it's gonna be in trouble. Just enough time trying to find a safe haven. It's surely indicative of a commitment, but they're double pumping. They'll be walking out and Zen's got a flash for the call. This should be perfect. Here we are. Sticko finds the first. Oh, unfortunately, just a little too high. Couldn't get his eyes under the box. Sergei to try and get that bomb down, but there's so many CTs already finding frags. Zen's got his second already. Sunny has to go big here to even create space for this. Fake the drop down so they think they could be one towards Sandwich. They will clear that as they push forward. Go 
secure enough time for Sunny to get at least one, but it's cost him a great deal of HP. Again, still on patrol. Does fall, but now Sergei left with not a manageable scenario, but a slightly oh. better one. Very well played by the CTs once again. Very calm under pressure. Over the bench, I like that. I like that. He, he didn't get flustered. He didn't just try and push him for the kill. Just elevates him on the bench. Gives himself a bit of an off angle that you wouldn't normally be expecting. Collected a fuse, and we're already up to... Oh, four and zero. So... God Center running away with this in the early stages. What we saw from them earlier in the tournament, if you are just joining us, was uh, lackluster. I think uh, I was expecting God Center to come out swinging a little bit harder. They weren't playing in Cologne. They had all that time yep. uh, maybe to look at the other demos and be prepared for a matchup like they were going into last week. Yeah. I, I think... I don't want to say maybe I held them to the same standard of ENTS, but I, I kind of expected the same level of preparation. Okay. As they both won at Cologne. They both had a bit of time, but you know, ENTS showed up first. Yeah, no, definitely. They've also got a lot more of the legwork done for them already. It's not make any mistake in considering that, that the hard work and Alexi B did forge with this roster is not redundant now. But Mirage, the punish pick, and already not off to the flying start they may have anticipated. Sergei's moonwalking into the potential Steco Cross. And well, very alert today. Does catch that ramp aggression. Good opener. And the way the Ents play, they should just oh. regroup. But Through the, the bomb has just gone straight down. Ha that was only felt like a couple of bullets fired. That's huge. Yeah, that's colossal. Here comes the Alu Farley duel, the first of our Mirage. Okay, blows his head off from the left eye. That is a bonus. Ariel and Sergey once again thrust into a dire. Two versus four disadvantage. And Zen, he's not going to be doing anything to give those T's a way back in. It's the safest angle. He's got lots of the strafes into the window covered. Maiden pushing up and taking the space that was once filled by Sergey. Great timing on the peak. Just as the Molotov left his hand, catching him in transition, puts this round on notice. Should just be the formalities here. And Maiden again, look at this angle. As soon as he's walking, he gets the frag. Really good stuff. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the counter we're seeing out of God Center. Admittedly, some nonsense through the smoke every time. Yeah, look, it's clean in the way that they're able to, to deal with these rounds, and that's where I think the Ents might need to change the gear. On the other maps we've seen them play so far within the Pro League, it's been very default heavy. Get map control, start that squeeze on a train uh, map as an example. You're putting pressure through Ivy, you're putting late pressure through Pop, someone coming through main, and just making life very, very awkward for the CT side. But this start so far has been execute heavy, and it's been dealt with. It has been dealt with in spades and if you look in the kill distribution right now on the side of things for that of Ents, I, I know we're only a couple rounds in but they also only have a couple of kills they haven't been closest rounds they haven't gotten messy there's been no real here it is yeah all right um i, I can't I, I he just took a random shot there ladies and gentlemen so that, that this is sometimes how she goes but this is good stuff they're all offered up 1v1 jewels it looks like the trade potential wasn't really there for Ents. it's made him finishing on in the back line and better look here from Godsend today on Mirage. So this is this could be the shift that they needed. Here we go. And I'm sure it's going to be motivating to have Coach Devilwalk tell him Mirage is coming. This is how we're going to catch him. Ooh, and I don't know if they've seen this look from Farley yet. He's done it a couple of times, but I don't know if they've pressured mid that early on. But see if he gets away with much. Flying did one cross his second. Gets away for free. Yeah, and he is going to be Yampi who finds himself in that spot. The sound cue again. One. Yeah, Maiden heard it this time. He's... Well aware of what his responsibilities are. Zen's back turn. This timing. Such good timing. Sunny can get him both. Harley. Harley with a quick reaction shot. Bombs lose B. Spotted as well. Allo in jeopardy. Not much he can get away with here. Even retreating requires that bomb retrieval. Crystal likely going to mantle up and get some info on that retreat. This is just uh, death waiting to happen. <laughs> That's not bad, though. Yampi's trying to help out. That's the best you could achieve, I guess, in this oh. one. Oh, oh maybe has been on one. Oof. Some good aim here this morning for the Godsend boys. They've been uh, doing their death match over the weekend. Mm -mm. They didn't take Monday off. They were uh, not wasting their time going to the shops and doing laundry. They've been... All right, Chad. Getting a That's what I was doing. I was doing my laundry. Yeah, you did it too? Yeah. Yeah. I did, like, three loads of laundry. I had to, yeah, I, I did two. It was the bed sheet day. So. Uh, we don't have to worry about that. Oh, that's true. You're living the life. On life. Yeah. Mm, quite the dream. I hope they clean my kitchen today. We got a little bit messy. <laughs> Let's see what's happening on this uh, Tech 9 armor round because there's so much utility. They clearly have the mid control set up. They want to throw it and make it feel like it's exactly the same as always. But with a B finish thrown on in there for good measure. Yampi's trying to make it look the same. In fact, he's taking a lot of. Sp oh, I love this. Go on. Just go. Yeah, yes. Yampi goes Yungle. And bye-bye, Maiden, not today. Oh, That's no. a shame. 
That was the perfect flank, the pincer. You can see the plan. Sunny trying to get it back on to an even keel, but well handled. Oh. Crystal spray transfer. Maiden putting another one on his scoreboard as well. A double kill from Crystal and Maiden. Again? This is scary. Like the fact that the scoreline is already like this and Crystal hasn't died yet. And he's the in-game leader, normally one of the, the very, very weaker individuals in this roster. But he's a selfless in-game leader. Look at this spray transfer. Lovely stuff. Headshot. And the assist on that one right there. So... And then... Um, go off Crystal. 7-0. It feels like we just started. Ents need to get this one going. The AWP in Allo's hands. They found an opening so far, but they haven't really been able to convert with them whatsoever. To my memory, the record for most frags without a death is held by Rain on Dust 2 around 20-something before going down. 23. Damn, that memory recall coming in. <laughs> Simple had a really good crack at it the other day. I think it was 17 or 18 yeah. and 0 on, on Dust 2 as well. Nuke? Nuke, yeah. Ah, jeez, 17 and 0. All right, well, Crystal, let's see if you're up for it. That's, you know, simple rain crystal. Not normally the name you put up there with the fraggers, but look, he's if he's able to keep it, you know, looking competitive, but the T's up to something this time. It looks like that A crunch. Mm-hmm. Crunchy. See if it's any tasty. Sticko, this could be sick. Sergey gets the better one. First time they've really taken him down for free, it feels. Yeah, Maiden's got a chance here, and it's one for one. Yampi trying to pull ends, kicking and screaming, but... He's over. He's mute by Farley. Now all on to a two, make it three. Should be fine for Sunny to collect here. A free frag on the Lurk. That's perfect. Now the round becomes impossible and so does Crystal. There we go. There it is. <laughs> we called it and obviously, you know. As soon as it becomes addressed. Caster's curse is real. Caster's curse. So what we do in the morning when we wake up, we all come in here, we put on like our, our headdresses. Lauren like lights voodoo. a couple candles yep. on the table. We make some voodoo dolls. We do like a little dance around. I throw some salt over my shoulder, a headbutt, yep. a mirror. There's six black cats currently in here. Yeah. There's broken mirrors all over the place. I made no eye contact as I cheersed you under a ladder. That's right. Oh. Yeah, I really recall that last, done. last night. But uh, let's get back underway as Alu, now with two kills to his name. Let's see if we can make it three. The AWP has been potent for him throughout the matches we have watched. Hello, so hello. Are they going to kiss in the smoke? Yampi hasn't got a clue. This is such ballsy play from Maiden. And he's trying to check it. Oh no, the sound cue is even better. Flashed oh, as well. He tucks in. He tucks in. Yampi's aware. And he's going to get the shot. This kid is alert. Looking for the wall bang. Timing is everything for... Grenade. Harley oh. dunked on by Zen. Good reactions. Sicko's back, spotted Zen trying to cover him, but he does find the frag. They are a tight-knit unit. That was truly a godsend delivery then, wasn't it? Just, you saw the nade just dunking in. But still, three players for Ents do stand. They can make something out of this, but they just need that step in the right direction. 7-1 is a very condemning scoreline, well, especially on this here. map. This is cool. I wonder if they want to boost up and take the fights. The sticker wants to get across instead. They are going to be so vulnerable to wall bangs. The Molotov to stop the default plant. Looking good. A read peek as well. They are ready to fight. They want to fight, but team oh, flashes and it's getting oh. awkward. Triple for the Finns and now all on to Zen. Bomb has been planted. Oh, 19 HP. Oh, yeah, fair. That's not fun. No kit either. Nah, you're feeling kind of hard done by in that. After all that work that they put into middle, still... Potentially wants to retrieve an AWP. You can see that. Where was it dropped? Let me try and be Chad for a second. Okay, CTs lost bonus. Let me check what's happened here. So they just the T's just won a round, which means the CTs have gone down to 1900, which means that 1900 plus the highest number, 3600. We've probably got an AWP, but it's not pretty. Um, and that's how my brain thinks. Uh, there it is. Yeah. Good crack. I tried it. You had a good first shot, time. It? Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad whatsoever because look, there's lots of numbers. Add it in together, and uh, Zen gets an AK. So that's not too shabby whatsoever. Farley won't actually be able to purchase the AW himself. Now, the, the thing that we need to remember is if a player is going to drop your AWPA, the big green, right? We call it the big green because it uh, used to be big and green. Now it's big in lots of colors, yeah. lots of different looks. But it costs $4,750. Now, you would want, if you're going to drop that across, to have enough money as an individual to hopefully be dropped something by the AWP player and to be receiving... Oh, Maiden's actually picked it up. I was going to say, and be receiving armor of your own. Mm. Why are we the same person? I don't know. Same noises, but both very excited by the prospect of CT-sided aggression. First time we've seen the kind of push towards Palace that time rather than ramp, and well, it pays off. It really does, and that spray control is a combination of luck and skill. Lovely from Zen there, catching Yampi just as he got his body to the box. 
They can call them bomb mid as well. They don't have to contest it. We've seen Ents more than happy to uh, linger in middle for a large period of time. And this is them hoping for a misstep. It's another three on five situation. It doesn't look great for Ents, at least before they had a site control and Godsent rushed it. I love their A-hold. Like they, they have so much info. Sticko being so pushed up in Palace. Maiden can float between connector and ramp if he's feeling confident or if the calls come in. But at 50 second mark, they tuck into ladder room. A boost promising. Crystal and Farley to be tested. Aerial late arrival from the apartments. 40 seconds. They need... Yeah, tucked in there. Yeah, that's the sound cue. They're playing this really nice. I like the boost as well. The contact's coming. Farley posted in. Crystal to start things off. Finds Alu spot Sunny. Call to be made. Spots Ariel. He knows where the last two are. Information now pouring through, but 25 seconds. The teaser down to it. Farley perfectly played. Never lost his cool or his calm. Very well handled. Great stuff from Crystal. Like, the reason that's fantastic is a lot of other players would maybe overcommit and try and go for a kill there. Counter-Strike, I know that we're 10 rounds in, going into round number 11, but he's playing the percentages right there. He's seen both exactly as you pointed out, Lauren. He doesn't need to fight either. Look at the trap that they've set up. You know, uh, he's, he is in a position to completely win the round, and he does. I, I mean, we both made eye contact, Chad, because we saw Crystal have that, like, opportunity. Thought, yeah. And then realize, we have one boosted. If they want to hunt me, I just need to not show. He was still doing his job. It was great. It's just good to see the decision making in terms of converting as a team. No heroes here. No need when everybody is providing what they are supposed to. Sticker flashed off. This is going to be fast and they're already into the site. Oh, good shots. Not the second. Ariel's the one that adds the second, starts to pluralize. This looks real dire straight, but again, why they can the plant? I don't know why they haven't planted, and now a 3v3 gets more awkward. That smoke will fade. Ariel will be potentially in a prime position What's... here. Bomb's still not Wait, down. What? They are, did they, I swear I heard them start planning. Chill our beans. Zen's conscious that there is a potential jungle presence. There was a smoke there. He doesn't have that info. Crystal's still con thinking about middle. That's... I'm gone. Maybe with the delayed plant, he was considering someone could be trying to get, you know, the around the world going, but no, it's Ariel tucked in towards window. This could be nice for him. Going to spot out Crystal. Does he wait for the oh. second? Yeah, it's gorgeous for Ariel. This is four, bear in mind. And honestly, if you're the Orper in CT right now, you're probably going to back away and consider how do I keep this rather large weapon very safe? Yeah, that was strange. I, I, I get why you don't want to rush a scenario like that, but it felt like Ents had control, or at least we could see that, that they had control. I missed it. Am I out of the loop? It's hard to miss a weapon that big. She's trying to get me to go down the dark path. Don't uh, go there. We just started, so many Alex. silly jokes I can make, and I'm not doing it. We get, we get the newspaper out. Keeps the AWP in play. Now then. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see this again. This is a quad kill from Ariel in this second one. Look at that. Bruh. Lovely. Freebies. Nobody looking his way. All he had to do was make sure that crosshair and spray was as it should. Now into the 12, first map, first game. Seeing a nice eclectic mix of MP9s and M4s. It certainly is what many would consider a full buy in modern day Counter-Strike. Yeah. You see all the util flying around and sticker with that weapon as soon as he gets him to ramp. It kind of nullifies the disadvantages that are innate to that of the SMG. Seeing three gather towards Palace as well. That does incite a little bit of excitement. Farley's vulnerable to that at the moment. And their setup could be ripped out if Sunny gets this fight and somehow... Oh. Shadow? Oh, Shadow, yeah. And double peek. This is the swing, though. And it's working out wonderfully. Their setups are calculated. And at the moment, working Whoa. wonderfully, as is the headshot from Seco. That's oh, the round damn. over already. Very impressed to see that one. Uh, it was simple, but you could see the crossfires. I wonder if the skybox lines would help us demonstrate the crossfires they had established there. Potentially. Let me see if I can set something up. We might do it in the... Uh, yeah, hold on. Oh, oh, there's a timeout, oh, there's a Chad. Perfect. Oh, okay. Well, let me oh. let me see if I can get it quickly for everybody. I'll, no uh, pressure. I'll work through it. Oh, dum, 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 dum. What's the countdown music? Do -do 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 -boom. Mm. Yeah, I loved countdown back in the day. It was great. You know, if you skip school, you're all right. Real. We can we do have time, everybody. Countdown. Oh, here so we, we go. We can do it quickly. Uh, we can throw into this for everybody playing at home and, and see what Alex was talking about. So Zen here is behind the firebox. You can see his nice little blue line there, looking towards connector. Maiden is also in that connector position. So mid is relatively locked down. This crossfire on the ramp, as they'd come out the palace, the T's are normally looking towards ticket. Zen would be hidden, and then Farley was the first point of contact. So it's a really, really hard crossfire to deal with. These are the two angles the T's are going to have to be dealing with, which is not normal. It normally be 
back towards Ticket or over towards Jungle and Stairs. So this setup here, great stuff. Like you said, simple stuff, and they made it work. So let's get back underway. Perfect timing, Chatty B. That was your Skybox brought to you by the America's Navy. Now we can see exactly how the Ents boys look to try and claw us back to six. It will be just the deco. Never one to write out these fast pistol rounds. Zen's given a warning shot, but... Sonny got one. Yeah, he handles it. Sonny, oh, wow. Good catch on Yampi. That could have been the plan. I think that was the bomb. Yeah, it was. Drop now towards the uh, firebox. Well, he didn't check his sandwich. Cost him his life. Ali with the element of surprise. And now oh, you could overwhelm the Orpa Maiden. Not one to be overwhelmed. Just Ali's Deagle then. Doesn't look too enticing. Smoke grenade to isolate the fight peak on it. Makes sense. He's tagged up Maiden, but pushed on as well. So 10, double digits for Godsend. And this was the black box, as Chad's been using a lovely analogy for a team that have not had many officials, if any, actually on Mirage uh, with Farley joining the roster. So this is an unknown entity in terms of how much they could have prepared or equipped themselves for what they'd be facing. And this is the problem with when you go for a punish pick. You're assuming that they're so scared of their, your best map, right? That's what they removed. They removed train. Like, we don't want to play ants on train. Get that out of here. Throw that away. But what you've done is you've gone into that premeditated and they weren't expecting a ban like this considering you've never played an official on Mirage. You can only play this trap card once. It won't work against the next team or against the team with a different set of vetoes and maps. You have to be careful. And once again, it is this close ramp setup and the run boost from Alu could be instrumental. Has to deal with Farley. Oh, and he's just dipped back out of the spotlight. Oh, he's going back in on it though. This is brave from Farley. This time though, thinks better maybe of sticking around a touch too long because Alu was very much on the case. Yeah, he's even pre-aiming the boost. He's ready for any sort of... Uh hijinks the CTs plan to get up to, but at the moment, mid-control given to them. It is a gift from God sent. There is no contest, no players, no presence. They really want to force Farley off short. They know the Orpa typically supports over from that B side. But they are, once again, calculate... Oh, barrel. And frag. Alu, set up in middle, now draws blood. It's going to get awkward for Stiko. He is alone on the A site. Zen can't really feel... <gasps> Chris was pushing. Good catch from Rushley. Ariel did shut that down, so already it's only three CTs. What on earth can they do about this one? This is Ensis Playground now. Where is that bomb? Okay, tucked in with Yampi towards middle. Ariel's sticking around. Imagine if he gets them both. <laughs> oh, God. This, this would be very, very uh, considered play if that's the case. And Farley's had none of it. He's having a match. I think this is the Farley we wanted to see, which is very exciting. I hadn't seen much of him yet, but Sticko could still be a problem potentially. I, I say potentially in a very light manner. He is in a position where he could cause troubles, but bomb to be planted. They seem quite aware. It, it, bear in mind Sticko has been playing towards ramp, playing towards dark. They could be hyper aware of this, Sergei. The first on the chopping block to take the challenge, but he's got the information. Yeah, oh, smoke. Lurk. That's cool. Yeah. So now... Element of surprise, he'll upgrade to the AK as well and just try and maneuver around the site. He's got to keep people guessing. Looks it's like Farley's Farley saving. Okay, so... Oh, is he coming for a cat flank? He's coming for a cat oh, flank towards connector. Okay, so we will come uh, never mind. Stiko to convert, yeah. I was getting excited. Yeah, no, and I, I, I mean, it was. It felt like there was real <laughs> legs to that, but it, it does seem like they'd rather play the percentages. They certainly would have a better shot in the next. Mm. The final oh. round of play. 11-4 does sound better than 10-5. It does. Yeah, especially if you convert that pistol and you can run away with against the four spies. But Enzo just slowly milking these rounds down. The game doesn't feel uh, crazy high intensity. It's yep. just, a, just a default spread. A couple of executes thrown on in. There's not a huge amount of multi-kills. Lauren, you missed all that counter strike. That was the weekend Alex and I had. We just, just like had nutty. biffing and brawling and fighting and retakes oh, and cool. clutches. So when the play-by-play -play happens, I'm yeah. gallivanting uh, with PUBG. Sorry, Lauren. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Driving around cars. Yeah, what it was really good do? fun. Uh, <laughs> FaZe had a really good weekend. Oh. Yeah, love it. Love to see it. You know, the Mill to Power endings. Reminds you of G-Core, right? Oh, G-Core. It's, it's, so, it's, <laughs> it's like, wild. It's a throwback. Uh, the FaZe uh, Counter-Strike team had a very bad weekend. Well, at least part of them did yeah, well. Yeah, part of the know. org. Here we are. Half and half. Ents had a good weekend, funny enough, as well. Oh, really? Yeah, the Finns are in it. Those three, what was it, 360 hertz monitors? Did you uh, see yeah. the tweet? They're all on them now. I saw that they, they put one of them in the uh, Ents office, and Natu just said, first one who picks it up can have it. And I yeah. was like, well, that's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's yeah. a, that's a very Alice Keepers, thing. keepers, losers, oh, weepers. <laughs> Alice the oldest. He knows how to play by the rules. Yeah. Well, five kills so far. He's not had a belter. We want a bit more from Alu. He's been pivotal. He's been one of the big players, big instigators in the Ents kind of rush back to form. But as said, that final round could really change how the scoreline reads. Yeah, and he's been kept very quiet. I can't believe Farley's going for this, this line. Do they flash it? Oh, 
they double peak. He leg shot. Oh my god, he nearly got all three. Alu down to 34, but Farley's just thrown their plans out the window, ignited them with a lighter midair as well. It's all over for Enz. What are you supposed to do? You've got your star raw, but down to 34. He's been quiet all game. And speaking of quiet, Sergey, nothing but a whisper from him. Three frags. Bombs over at B. He's taken down Ariel and Yampi. <laughs> I'm very, very impressed to see an AWP go for something so audacious. Now we will see the smoke into window and a regrouping towards A. They're clearing mid right now. Godsend have actually pushed all their chips in to take one key part of the map away. But even with Sergey limping out towards the site, the retake, well, not the retake, the defense of the site, they know where they need to be. You can see Maiden going to drop a smoke now towards Palace. There's nobody home, but there's two players postured and ready and close to Zen on the catwalk. And if they want to swing and try and get over towards the firebox, he'll be able to pop some shots with that AWP. Maiden rotating over towards CT spawn. And Crystal clearing out B app. So they'll have all the information they need very shortly, but it looks like Ent's going to give it to them first. What are they waiting for? What's the market here? 25 seconds, you are running low on time. Down to 20, they still got a touch of utility left. I think Allo just put out his only smoke. 19 seconds now, player towards ticket, player towards stairs. Sticko just falling back a little bit. Sergey takes his head, lovely work from him. That's the sight, oh. not secure, because made it again. Out of nowhere does incredible things, but with five seconds left, no bomb plan. Sergey on the wall path, but it's all for nothing. That's a frustrating way to end the half. It is an 11-4. Looking fantastic. This punish pick ain't so punishing. Certainly not for Godsend. We'll be back to see how it concludes. Would you give up the fight if you had no time to even surrender? Would you give up your rights to let your life slide away?
high energy in the godsend camp and under understandably so there are already 11 rounds to the good and heading into battle on the attack it is mirage and thought they had the number punishing a map that we've yet to see an official from godsend but this is the as chad put it the only chance they get to play this card. Better work. Better work. They have to convert. Five rounds needed, charging up to middle. Hello. Oh. There's a double dink. That's Alu's head That's gone. Smoke. And a fast smoke up connected. We've seen this pistol round before. They're going, they're going beyond this. Maiden's trying to sell the fake and with his frags, he gonna probably be heard, get, yeah. he's gonna get away with it. Oh, they are it walking. Okay, who was it on short then? It's Ariel, so on HP. Yeah, they're going, and Ariel could still bang a shot or two. A little bit of a tag. Ooh. He tried to buy a touch of time, and he's done just oh, that. Out. Two players making the push. They denied the plant. Smoke goes in, but there's Sticko. Oh. P2 Swifty in hand, looking good, but Sunny now in the 1v2. Kill show me what well. you got, Sunny. Show me what you got. Sticko's gone. And Crystal's got 10 HP, no armor as well. This pistol round's gone back oh, and the forth. Bomb. Yeah, okay, the timing's going to be important here. Crystal does scoop it up. He's got so much time. What's his plan here? Is he really going to walk into the kitchen? Nope, walking <sighs> straight into the crosshairs. Great play from Sunny in the Nash. end there. Hitting that shot. Three frags in the round. He does save his squad. And it looks so promising with the maiden opening. So Ents dig themselves out of that hole. Here's a storyline that I forgot to tell everybody at home. Okay. Sunny and Steeker, they used to play together on mouse sports. That's, that's true. What's that, Alex? That's, we're gonna, that's three for the day, so... Is he, that the three German phrases for the day? Oh, no, <laughs> he doesn't get... He gets as many as he wants, okay. right, but we just keep tally. It's like a swear jar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my best work. That's that, all right. That, that dash, dash dumped is really quite addictive. Just means that's true. That's as far. Dash dumped, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dump, yeah, dumped. Yeah, natürlich. For now, Junge. Fantastic, Deutsch. Fantastic, Chad. Schnell got sent. <laughs> yeah, los. Los geht's. Los geht's. Uh, this will be a quickie. Should be. It's looking a bit sticky. <laughs> Sorry, Chad. The quickie got it? sticky. Oh, look. That's what he's trying Alex. to say. That's what he said. Look, uh, it's a three on three. Oh, now, it's a, now it's a three v two. All right, we're going to have to kill it. Stop saying it, please. I don't want to hear the word sticky. It's very strange. Oh. Well, if they win, Ents are going to be feeling icky. That's... Oh, Christ. All right, Alex, let me take this one. Alex. No, but no, Chad, I realized this is, there was that man that got upset at me on Reddit, and it's because they, we talk oh. silly in the Glock rounds, and now we talk silly in the Glock rounds, and he's sitting there rubbing his hands together. Right, like, look, they That's they okay. were talking about silly things, and Counter-Strike happened. I hate them. I hate them. You got downvoted, though. But I, what yeah. I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about this 2 on 3 Go on. Because it's actually winnable. The bomb is actually towards B. So if they're able to isolate Sergei and get the kill, it will force out the rotation. Zen has to hold his horses right oh. now. This is perfect. That might give away the game, though. As, oh, he has been there spotted. Ariel's on the case. They could mop this up. They could, but will they? 20 seconds. We can't get that bomb down unless he kills him. And there we go. That's going to be Ents surely digging themselves out of this hole. Finally gave it a good damn go. Ends do convert, but it's more costly than they anticipated, and no one's recovered Sunny's M4. I think that's a point worth making, mm. that he thro threw all of his schmeckles into an M4 second round, and now it's, well, evaporated into round 17. We head into the 18th now. <sighs> Problematic here. AWP is out, though, so you can see at least Ali is going to have that, and it will be against the five AK-47s of Godsent. They have enough utility to go for whatever style of execute they're looking for, and they'll be happy with the damage that they were able to inflict in the previous. So smoke towards top mid. We're going to have Farley and Maiden heading towards that side of things, and ahead of the smoke! Damn. That's the star you need. Just try to claw it back. Yampi's actually tugged himself in nicely now. He'll be able to control and patrol short and window. Another on the cards as a smoke phase. Maiden can catch him here. Element of surprise. He's trying to nutmeg. Oh, sound cues taking a big risk here. Alu's not ready for this. Big gap. Oh. Maiden, this could be so good. The timing's everything. He's found one. He's turned oh. to Alu. That's the Alu. All the fins are waiting to see. Quick to the trigger and gets it just right. Yampi still watching towards middle. Posted up well. That's exactly as to why. Controls it, Zen now. Falls and two still stand. Crystal and Sticko, what do they have? Smoke, flash, and a molly. And one was just retrieved. So it really is a much crystal with the bomb. Push pretty far ahead. Sunny. Nice. They're headed. That's going to be an opportunity now. Wait, Crystal? Is he going through the smoke? He's left the what bomb. A madman. He's dropped the bomb down. This is kind of dirty. I kind of like it. Alu. 
Let's see what you can do with this as well. He's waiting, probably considering what's going on here. Bear in mind, they've probably spotted the bomb at one point. High flash, Molly goes in. That's a bomb plant, and Crystal's in a belting oh position. Gosh, this guy is having a round, and now the 2v2. It could all be for nothing. It could all fall apart. But do remember, this was a scenario they should never have gotten to this point on. Yeah, who's really finding Stiko. Crystal has to save the day. Oh, he's flubbed the jump, but still not out of the realms of possibility. Ariel's the one on it. But it's connecting and not quite enough to confirm. Good attempt for sure. I liked it. I liked all the things he did. People with, with him pushing through the smoke, maybe not too familiar with why he did that. He wanted to maintain mid control. If he could force them back off cat, make sure that window was covered off and he already knew they weren't jungle because he was patrolling around that side, it was going to set Steeko up for an open plant. And they were able to do that. They just weren't able to convert. I think that's the kill right there that almost guaranteed the round. Crystal did his absolute best to pull it all back in. But Love Alu's that. stopping Maiden. Alu's stopping Maiden right there in window. Uh, that was basically it. It's an Nice conversions there from Ali. He was quiet in the first half. Let's see if he can come alive in the second half. Ents, they really need to be bounding back in, well, a slew of rounds, and so far, so good. I want him to receive that nade, but they're coming to the door very soon. Crystal looking to lead the way here with Maiden and Farley as the entry pack on top middle. Coming through underpass will be Zen, and over towards Palace is Stiko on a bit of a lurk. Now the bomb heading back towards spawn. They've been able to withstand any early aggression, which we can see there absolutely is none. Got sent playing this very, very, very slow. So Farley's in a position to throw util, right? He's sitting there for a reason. That's the top mid smoke, and he has the A ramp. Push. So it's a mid to A finish, perhaps. A little late, Zen becomes the lurker all of a sudden. Okay. I'm on board. He pivots through mid. You've got... Your default, just a question to see how they plan to and intend to finish this. That late smoke middle's got Alu paranoid, but hasn't able to be able to gain any additional information. It will be Sunny's first contact, but instead, he's hearing utility, wants to drop his own. Yeah, this mid play is going pretty unchecked. The CT's falling back towards slightly more tucked in position. Sergey, obviously, and Alu being them, but oh, Sunny, oh. the timing's everything here. Zen's already up. And the other two are playing through connector. They're going to get contact. Sergey deals with Crystal. Now here's the steps. Alu's got his back. That's a lovely crossfire. And there's still that threat from window. There it is. Zen finally comes in. And there's the answer. Jesus, it's going everywhere. Jumpy's done some serious work. Puts Farley into a winnable one versus two. Only a Galil. And time to reposition. Decision making time. I'm seeing a kit on Ariel. 21 bullets to find and isolate these jewels. He's right to look for Yampi. That was the jewel he wanted, but saved by the newest pickup. That's a big round and a big one to pick up. Keep them on their toes. And so the CT start from Ents. It continues on an unbeaten spree from the pistol. That's now going to be four. As weapons are retrieved, he delays the defuse in order to acquire both. Eight for Ents. So they definitely have tidied themselves up and kept it competitive. It was a little bit alarming. After that close one-on-one -on -one pistol, it could very well have spiraled in God's sense favor. But this is Ents' pick, and certainly for a reason. We'll see how Yampi got that second frag, because Maiden just swung in. Yeah, that's just a quick adjustment. Nice handling. That was Farley's chance. Galil versus M4. Didn't actually get to a single bullet onto him. Yeah, that's that nasty uh, left eye peak we keep talking about. Yep. So for Farley, unfortunately, having the disadvantage with the weapon and the side of his eye that he was picking on through, but look at this. Mac 10s are plenty, couple of deagles over towards B we go. It looks like it's going to be a set piece. Zen throwing out a little bit of early utility. Uh, there should be a second wave to this. Oh, he's burning. Let's see, let's wait for that second wave because if this is it, they haven't been able to do too much. There's the flashes and in we go. Ariel is blind, Yampi catches the next, that's lovely. Uh, T's making this a little bit more deadly because the Ariel's in all kinds of stressful scenarios. There's now just three of the T stand. Uh oh, uh oh. Alu? between the legs, leaving Yampi to clear up the mess on the cross. Nice adjustment, but it's Yampi to control. Very well handled, but you could see the mayhem that they caused with those delayed flashes. Yeah, it could have been a bit of a mess right there, but Ents able to hold it together. Now that we're sitting going into round number 21, it's a 11 to nine in the favor of Godsend. We still hold this lead, but that lead is quickly, quickly slipping away as the AWP will come out in the hands of Farley here, much better than the glue we saw him within the previous. Mm. He needs to find an opening. So let's see if they allow him to do whatever he wants or if they're going to use him within the system. Over towards mid, he's heading fast. It'll be a heads up duel with Alu. Uh, he doesn't get the better of that one. Legged on down. Alu will take some spray damage from Maiden here in the flurry. Underpass though, Zen on the chase. He takes down Ariel. So this is a big pickup. Yampi 
wants to equalize oh, and dropping on down. He's done a lot of work here, and now they can get out of dodge. <laughs> Good find for Mr. Wayne. <laughs> now, yes, the CTs will try and dig themselves back into standard holds. Sunny looks like he's relocating to be responsible for B. Oh, there was a gap there, but Godsent weren't to know. So Sunny will be in the site, no dramas, before they're able to set up any execute they would like. And Stiko goes down to the AWP top middle, so everything is falling apart here for Godsent. Sunny tries to remain calm as they're very much at the door here, but Farley's so low and Aiden on his own. Nice work from him, but where's the support? It's being very patient. Alu misses the shot on the cross, so Bomb should go down. Low HP, though. That's the real problem. It is, but Ooh. never write Farley out of a round. Needs this clean one. Jumpy just going to pre-fire. Lovely play from him. And then they had head in hands after that first half, but I believe this is going to be enough to reinvigorate them. That's now a, How many in a row? convincing fifth round in a row. <laughs> now six. As I hadn't quite gone over on my overlay, but taking a quick look at the there scores, you can see exactly that slew of rounds I'm referring to. And you can see the Godsend have been no slouch in getting that bomb down. The previous Tech 9 rush was the elimination execution, but bomb's been going down. They've been getting into the sites. Combination of multi frags from Yampi. Hello. Pumping frags from Yampi. Not quite Batman's phrase. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Governor. Hello, Governor. It's sweet the chimney. Here we go. Have you seen more Batarang, mate? <laughs> Why is he Australian? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how we got there. I don't know what happened there. Oh, yeah, you know, mate. God. So, uh, look. Plants are no problem, but what has been a bit of an issue is opening kills. Zen onto Ariel. That was their first opening kill since the pistol round in the second half here for that of the godsend side of things. So let's see if they can get a few more of those headed in the right direction and then not immediately trade it back. An opening is great, but then if you give one back straight away, well, you're finding yourself in a four on four, which we do say favors the tease. Top tier analysis there, Chad. Well, <laughs> we're going to get this one underway. Round number 22. Ooh, was... Ooh. Oh, got top present. tier play by play from us. <laughs> oh, we're really on point today, aren't Look, we? This is our Monday, Hold okay? On. This is fast. Look at what's happening here. The CT's pushing towards ramp after losing that mid control. This is a brawly round. And for now, the Finn's staying cool under pressure. The trade's coming back in, but it has been substantially favorable towards Ents. And now it's just Farley. You said to never write him out of a round, but he's got to prove it here. And sadly, Yampe is uh, looking solid. Wow, that was... Yeah, uh, that, yeah, you can do the... You sound like Natu. Like, I've, I've worked on it for years. Yeah. I dream of one day becoming Natu. So well, this is why Lauren's only... You can call me only, this, is why, <laughs> this is why Lauren's only just come back to Counter-Strike, guys, because she's been practicing how to pronounce Yampi's name... That's it. ...for the last three I've, years. I've been in the lab. She wasn't even aware that he was, he was coming, but she knew that she needed time. to be ready for it. And it. Lauren is always, uh, always making sure she's ready for it. Yorna <laughs> Lepanen. <laughs> That's Datu's name. I know, but you just keep going. You're you're I'm just, I wanted to practice. <laughs> yeah. Screw you guys. Nate's hurt. <laughs> still's fine. Nate so. has a hero AK though, Alex. Yes, Chaddy. That does look exciting. Let's see. Where is he taking it? Yeah, early posture towards A lurk. Smoke makes sense, and there is people behind it. So Sergey could be. Oh, Farley should get him here. Should get the trade. Okay, disappears. Cheeky boy. Sergey positioning himself and playing. A fantastic game so as not to get caught out by these sidearms. It is not the full investment. Should be Ents' 12th. Scene set as they continue their advance. Silently mantling into the window room. And they'll notice... Oh, okay. Well, that might deter him from anything more aggressive. But he has got a real chance here. And Sergei deals with Farley first. Advance. Oh, oh he's yeah. getting them all. Third found. Zen was walking through the jungles. He's just played that position on the balcony so well. Alert. And now a hero AK. Not really going to get you fast. Ico's going to try and get the information for his squad mate. He does have the armored vest. I think he can get a freebie on the balcony here. Oh, that shot from Stiko going awry. Bye bye. Well, this is going okay. to be a very, very quick finish if the rounds continue like this. Right, so ends first half. Mm. Bit shit. Maybe, maybe they've just second half, Chad. Yeah, we're back in business. Well, what if we frame it the other way? What if we say God sent first half, fantastic Counter Strike, isolating the one v one jewels all over the map, making sure that ends couldn't get into the science. Yeah, I'm trying this whole positivity mm -hmm. thing recently. It's yep. not that you're wrong. It's just that ends. No, you're going uh, for the flip. But yeah, the flip. 
and I like it. But you'd feel as though those things that you are, you know, highlighted could surely apply to the T side, but it's just yeah. simply not there. Oh. Yampi, outstanding start. Oh, that is exceptional. Getting both of them as well. Such a tight line to be holding. I'm sure we'll get that from his POV, but regardless. Up and mid, gonna have to claw their way back from the early casualties, and this is a much more threatening task for what they thought they'd be going into. They had Farley and Zen in the plan, there was smokes, there was flashes, and now, unfortunately, it's a mid-round up against the full CT setup. Just limping into every round, it feels like. Either with a lower buy, or they always seem to be losing the opening duel, the opening kill never going in their fashion. Still, the only two opening kills came on those rounds I prefaced before. That was round number 21, and the pistol round of the second half. And most of those rounds as well, they've been losing the first two frags, not just the first one kill. So there's been no trading going on on the side of Godsent. And now with 50 seconds left, they're kind of split up again. From trading places to trying to find Sergi on the eddy. Can't force him off just yet. He's tucked in on that balcony and now does take him down. Real problems for Crystal. Some consolation frags. His best bet, not going to be given them. Sergi, that's two times in a row he's been tested on A. And uh, doesn't even break a sweat. Nor are we right now. This is such a... Th this, this is the, too very one-sided Let me part. see this. So, yeah. How much did he work with? Wow. Really solid work. Because you could see... I mean, we saw it from Farley's Slither PV. gap it was from Farley, yeah. Nick, nothing. Yeah. Not Nix. That's his Deutsch. That's us? Nix means us? nothing in, in German. Wie bitte? It's a nice, easy one to remember. Three letters. Can't really flub it up. We were trying to do numbers last night, but that went well out of control we were on our way. really quickly. I can get to nine. All right. And then someone explained. I'm sure there's a way to do it very easily. I think someone's explained to me before, but my brain goes, Haha, no. And so does Ariel's. Goodbye. Crystal. That's an opening. You're happy with that? No, that's what they need. That's their third in the second Here we half. Go. We're, we're, we're not quite cooking different. with gas yet. No, there's, certainly, there's, there's a gas canister on order. It's on the way. But here we are. Goes down, Crystal. Struggles to find that with the hero AK. And this, unfortunately, is the foreseeable flurry of frags. Ooh, gets away with it. Stiko oh, lives to fight yeah. another day. Zen's got the bomb, and he's got a bullet in his chest. Oh, dear. The, the, the two words after nine, Lauren, mm. they're some of the funniest German words for the numbers. Mm. Like, elf is fine. Eleven. Elf. Elf. How about, let me tell you now. But let me tell you now. Ah, but Zwölf <laughs> is funny. Very Zwölf. Zwölf <laughs> is 12. A uh, lot more fun to say than the other ones. I, I know, I like Fump. Fump. We can make it sound like a grenade launcher. Fump. Number five. It does sound like you know, a little, like You've got your, like, your noob yeah. tube, you're like, mm. Fump. Okay. <laughs> Cross the map. I'm with you. German in chat, just loving this, probably. I don't mind the sound effects. How, how is the German lessons going? Oomp. Yeah, well, come, come join us. Uh, I'm really bad. Alex is pretty good. Lauren is not trying. Not really trying, yeah. I'm, I'm really living up to the typical Brit approach of just... Embracing the ignorance. Exactly. It's, it's where I like to live. If I set the bar real low, I'll never be surprised by my failure. And another Moy. So, Zen, feeling like he can't get much done. I'm sure Farley's still kind of reeling after that last hit coming out from Yumpy, that double AWP. Really oh. gorgeous in play. Yeah, so I'm intrigued to know whether or not they can exploit the DORP. There is certainly room for that maneuvers. All you need to do is just throw a barrage of smokes. Just do it like your standard A smokes and then retaking with an AWP sucks. Ooh, this is a really rough one here. The position of Sergei, if they don't Molotov it, he's probably good for at least one. And then Sunny, I call that position Gatsby. I don't know why. That's a big door. Yeah. Great Gatsby. But now that he's moving forward. The off angle on it? Yeah, this, this uh. crossfire is going to be very potent. Smokes are coming over. The hit's on. Tucks himself in, and no Molly, as you highlighted, Chad. It's only going to get him one, though. Now, perhaps, the frags and the round favoring Godsend. Yampi can't really contest from short. Alu and Ariel gathering their resources for something from CT. But it will be off the back of flashes from Yampi, I assume. And he's miles away right now, so just jiggling into the lines dry cost them the life of Ariel. Two remaining for this retake. They're already on 14. It's been a flawless defense so far, and it seems Alu's not quite done yet. Wants to make it as costly as possible at the bare minimum. Wants to keep them on their toes, a smoke ramp. Really wants to get more fights, then we'll eventually behead him. And yeah, they'll just save one of the two orbs. I, look, 
Good round from Godsent. I, I want to see if they can replicate it. They actually traded efficiently onto the bomb site there. That was all you needed. I think Sunny may have hit his mouse against the keyboard as he was turning away from. That's flashes. what the shots were. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't. I don't think pop. unless he was trying to bait. But I would say most likely a bit of an accident, and that gave away his position on the site very clearly. That sound cue made it probably a little bit easier for Godsent to make their way into the bomb site and take him on down. And now as we're sitting on round 27, the scoreline is 14 to 12. Here's the openings. Sergey from Sandwich getting taken out. Sunny was dealt with very handedly. And this shot here from Farley onto Ariel. Well, that's all she wrote over towards A. And it's Godsent. They need to string a couple more of those together here if they want to look like they can deny the bank. But this one's fast. Oh, it's got some pace to it. Maiden's already out. Crystal behind. And they're going to keep pretty much ahead of the CTs. Sunny on try box. Bit of a spray. It's not beautiful, but it's got the job done. But Sunny is unchecked. Oof. Oh, my word. Sunny side coming up there, looking real tasty. Now, a 3v3, though. Where's that bomb? Is it down? Is it on the site? Sticko, not gone for it here. No nades to work with here for Godsend, so this is going to become very tricky, but they tuck tail and they're leaving A. They're going to vanish in front of the eyes here of Ents as the smokes will clear and they will start their investigation. Who will be the first to rotate? The closest port of call is Alu with the AWP, and we can see him pivoting. If he gets towards top mid, he can actually cover off mid and the B swing. This is fantastic stuff from Alu here, and he's still close enough to rotate over towards A as soon as the warning bells go off. This could be the first check. CT is sitting pretty deep on this, honestly. Alu's going to be watching the cross. I think they've got the idea. And I guess he's sitting safe for B as well. High flashes. 35 seconds. Oh, he's still looking for the opportunity. This re-aggress is going to be rough. The CTs are still postured pretty close by. Yeah, these orbs should be vulnerable. But they're getting that bomb down. It's never an easy task. Yampi doesn't want to contest. The prime angle held. <sighs> Our reaction test for Farley. Doesn't quite get the green light this time, but they are retreating. And so they'll go for another bite of the cherry. Makes sense. It does seem like this. Do they think it was B? Uh, yeah, I think they were clearing out for a flank here. They're definitely going oh, for this. Geez. Okay. I mean, they have got plenty of cash to splash, but now they've just kind of rotted the clock. They'll have to smoke the bomb. Farley given a free onto Alu. Maybe there's a real shot at this one. Nade onto his face. He goes down. Wow, and that's a retake, ladies and gentlemen. I, I gobbled it up. Saving. I assumed. <laughs> I made an assumption. What? And now I'm the one that looks like an ass. They had so much cash. They go for it. Perfect retake. The nade onto Farley confirms it. That is magnificent stuff from the Finns, and that puts them in good stead to convert their map pick here. Boy, oh boy, I didn't see that one coming. Sunny did fantastic to get two there. Obviously, they're all corralled over to towards Tetris. And then this is the finish. Ariel just back in the right time. Nade to the face is never where you want to take him. And uh, a frustrating one right there for Godsend. That should have been their round. I think they thought they were saving as much as we did. All right, well, got Ents just need one more round to take map number one here and take us to Nuke, which is Godsense choice. Setting up for an A piece again. The site is relatively open. Just overseeing from Ticket will be Sergey, not committed into the site this time round. And the first rotator will be Yampi. Let's see how much action he can get down. Loving the Sergey util set. It's not quite going to get him what he wanted, though. Just softens him up briefly. Some good ground covered. Crystal onto the site, trying to suppress any CT angles. We can see Sergei's just holding the line. Sunny's unloading a mag. Bomb is down, courtesy of Maiden. We've got a full five on five after plant, ladies and gentlemen. Strap yourselves in. Oh, look at the difference in nades for this retake. Zen with the only bit of utility left. Huge disparity, but still five guns trained. Defending this bomb site, playing it back in is going to be goddamn tricky. Here comes the util. Molly goes in, flash goes high. Maiden on Tetris going to deny one. That's Sergey going down, but these kills coming in for the CTs are actually looking pretty deadly. But time's ticking here, Alex. I don't know if they've got enough time for this. Yeah, Sunny's not sure either. He starts fragging, starts defusing. Get off the bomb. To get him off the bomb. Zen doesn't hear it. The spray from Steeko is not there. Oh he my god! it in front of their face. Oh, red faces all around for Godsend. It's 16 on the board.